Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Sunday Morning Simulcast with Rom Wills. Staying positive in these times. Staying positive in these times. Now, let's just be real. It's tough. There's so much going on and it's hard to speak with someone and they just give a positive outlook on everything going on. It's very hard. It's very hard. Even as positive as I can be, I'll be looking at some things like, oh. But you know what? You still got to stay positive in these times, despite everything. Yeah, we, I mean, shoot, we could, I could probably do a whole series on everything going on. And then that'll still be the tip of the iceberg because people are having trouble in so many areas. Just personally, people are having trouble with relationships, with family, with jobs, with where they're living, even if they have a good place to live. There is so much there. People, shoot, we talk about jobs, people losing jobs or they're not making enough. And they could, shoot, they might have savings that are being eaten up. I mean, there is so much. I mean... Well, at least where I'm living, the gas prices look like they're going down, but I haven't noticed the same thing with food prices. And that's just on a personal basis. Well, I, I don't even want to get into everything happening uh, in the world itself. It's like, just pick one. <laughs> you know, just pick one. There's so much going on in the world, it's crazy. But here's the thing. Regardless, you still got to stay positive. Because one, yeah, for everything bad happening, there's something good happening. Uh, except it doesn't make the news like that, or it makes the news after then they done told you about like six other things that's going wrong. But I say, oh, it, it a different story, but you're still thinking about those six things. Thing is, we got to start focusing on that one thing, and there's actually more. And the thing is, work to stay positive. The best way to start is not to look outside of yourself. That's the first thing. Don't look outside of yourself because. Well, quite frankly, you don't know what's going on outside. There's so many things. And plus, you can actually control what you're doing. Start with yourself. Every single one of you, start with yourself and what you're doing. Focus on the positive in your life. Yeah, I know you got a lot going on. We all do. That's normal. But you focus on the positive. What's positive going on? And I talk about this numerous times. Hey, you know what? You woke up this morning. That's positive in itself. Sadly, some people, and I've talked about this several times, they won't wake up. They have. They didn't wake up this morning. If you're able to get something to eat, okay, positive. If you're making money, if you're making enough money to feed yourself, keep yourself clothed, keep, hey, keep a roof over your head, that's positive, especially in this day and age. And you know what? Those are obvious. At least I hope they're obvious. But for those people who really go on through some stuff, you know what? It might have been tough getting up this morning. You might be going through some serious mental distress. You might be, uh, you know, you might be without a job. Um, I don't, I'm not sure how you listen to this, able to listen to this, but you might have this device, but you're listening to it in a tent. You might actually be homeless. And that's a serious, that's an issue going way beyond some inspirational on a Sunday morning. But here's the thing. Here's the thing, regardless no matter how bad it seems, you are still alive and you have survived. That's something to be positive about. Despite everything, you're still here. You're still going on. You know, no matter what, the sun always rises. Stay positive in that. Stay, seriously, just stay positive that you survived it. No matter what you've gone through, that you survived it. And I know, psh, please, I could, I could list some things I've gone through. I had some serious things. And I'm still here. And yeah, sometimes you be thinking about the negative stuff. Yeah, it can it can weigh on you. But I was like, every time, I'm going to tell you something, something I do. Every time something negative pops in my head, I say, well, hold up. I got this going on. And now some people will say, well, you know, don't just say at least you got that going on. Yeah, you do. Every little bit. I don't care what it is. I don't care what it is. If you got something positive going on, stay there. Now, let me be real about it, too. You don't want to be in a position where you're ignoring the bad thing. No, you still got to pay attention to them, especially when they're affecting you in everyday life. My thing is this, pay attention to it, but work to figure it out. And part of working to figure it out is, okay, focus on the positive. You feel good. It's like, okay, I got all this. I can solve this other thing. 
Think about the times in your life that you've overcome something. That's a strength right there. You have that ability. That shows you have the ability. Apply it to your situation now. Especially in these times. Because see, here's what happens. Every time a single person shines that light, shines that light, is that point of light. Every time it affects other people. And it can be contagious. You know, just feeling good saying hi to someone or acknowledging someone, it might help them. And then when they're feeling good, they can help the next person. And then maybe, you know, you say you're in a neighborhood. Say you're in a neighborhood. Say it's a, uh, you got an empty lot in the neighborhood and everybody's just feeling some blight. You know, everybody's feeling bad and down. And I've actually seen this happen in a few places I've, you know, or read stories or seen new stories about it. You might get one person feeling good, say, you know what, I'm going to clean up in here. And then somebody else see, see that person cleaning and they come in and join in. All of a sudden, you got a whole community and they feeling just different. They doing something. They keeping it up. That's that positive. See, being positive can be contagious. And if you have a critical mass of people who stay positive no matter what, the darkness, though light and dark will always be there, you can at least keep it balanced out. You can, you can keep it back. You can deal with the negativity. You can lessen the impact of the negativity. And yes, it's a fight. It's, a, it's spiritual warfare. Let's just be real. Regardless of what spiritual path that you follow, it's spiritual warfare, but you got to keep going. You got to keep, you don't want to despair. You don't want to let the negative energy overwhelm you or take you to a lesser level, especially with everything. No matter, And I've seen, I'm going to tell you what, here's the thing, because I'm focused, stay, I work to stay focused on the positive. It's not always easy. Let's just, let's just be clear about it. That's just a lot of stuff I don't show y'all. But by working to stay on the positive, it's incredible how I will see something going on. I might might see a community group cleaning up in the community. Uh, there's a group I follow on um, IG. They do that. They, they clean up in neighborhoods. Young people, too. That's positive. Uh, someone else I follow that I met years ago, he, he, he works, he, he develops urban farms in uh, impoverished neighborhoods. That's positive. You focus on it. Everything that someone's doing positive, you focus on it and stuff. But you got to start. That starts with you. That starts with you. So that's the important thing. All right. We're going to keep going. We will win. We will win. All of us just have to stay in the light. So that's all I have for today. I want everybody to stay positive, stay strong. We will get through these times together. Peace and blessings, everyone.